Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below, turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content, and let's jump into this video. So for today's video, there's going to be a link down in the description to be able to download everything that I'm talking about. But we're mainly going to be focusing on GPU latency, more specifically DPC latency. I'm going to start out the video explaining the numbers, kind of how you go about the testing process first and then I'll get into the more specific details regarding different CPUs and what affinities you should use or if you shouldn't use affinities at all. Okay, so to start out, the script I believe was made by DJ Dolman. This is a really easy way to test latency and repeat the same process over and over again without having to change anything crazy. So you can either follow the link in the description or just type in on Google Windows Performance Analyzer. That's gonna be this Microsoft link here. So we're going to go into the ADK link, download that, it'll look like this ADK setup. So when you open and run this setup, there's only one thing that you have to download. And it's Windows Performance Toolkit. You can uncheck everything else and only download Windows Performance Toolkit. So then how to run the script? You have to change a few things. So we're gonna add a folder. So wherever you want this folder to go. So for example, if I wanted in my C drive, I'm gonna create a folder named perf on, or if you change it to whatever you want, then you just have to change it in the script where it says perf mon. So if you put it in your C folder, directly in it or somewhere else, then you just have to add a backslash but to keep it simple, I just put it directly in the C folder. So then you're gonna copy this whole script, open up PowerShell. So now when I go and paste to run this script, the first 10 seconds, it's not running. And then after these 10 seconds, it's gonna run. So it gives you the time to open up Fortnite in the background. When I say open up, I mean like, it's already open, you're in creative, you're in replay. Now you're just changing it to full screen mode. And then it's gonna run for 60 seconds. I did three trials of 60 seconds, which depending on how many cores you have, you only have four, you can run multiple trials because you're not gonna have as many to go through. But then after I narrow down one or two, then I run a few more tests to just to make sure that I'm on the right core. So then you're gonna get this that pops up after it's done and you just have to hit enter one more time. So it creates the results, which I'll show you in that folder that we made. You can see by the date. Now when I open this up, you're gonna be like, holy crap, what is all these numbers? But first off, I'm gonna show you the difference, how easy it is to see what changes when you're using different cores. So as you can see, I labeled them. Each different folder has the different results in it. So if I go from testing core zero on this one, and core five on this one. So core five's on the right, or zero's on the left. So if you're just looking at core zero and you don't know what you're looking for, it's gonna be hard to identify the correct results or what you're looking for in the first place. So you'll see these different modules here by usage. Because we use core five for this one, you can see that DX kernel and NVL DD MKM are the main two differences here of what we want to look for for when we're playing a game and GPU latency. So the easiest way besides creating a separate document and copy pasting and going through these is just to open them all together at the same time and look for differences in between them. So we want to look here on this main CPU usage, but this isn't as important as the information directly below it where you can find DX kernel again and NVL DD MKM. And what you wanna look for is, as you can see, this first level right here is zero to one seconds, one to two, two to four. And this is the percentage that it's run at that time in between that time interval. So just to give you a quick example here, I put them next to each other for their runs. And you can see for DX kernel, 26% of the time I'm between one and two seconds when it's on zero compared to one to two seconds on core five, I'm only at 5%. So as you can see, I should not be using core five at all. You can immediately throw this one out as long as your other tests have the same results. 
that's how you can quickly go through it. And I'm gonna go through how you should test as well. I just wanna go through the data first. You're thinking about that before I go into changing the cores. So just to show you how simple it is again, this is when I have it on the left is core one. On the right is when I have it on all cores. You can see between one and two seconds, I'm only at 7%. But one and two seconds on core one, I'm at 26%. Now when you're getting into more specifically, between cores, you'll have to look at these other two as well, between two and four and four and eight. Okay, so now when I'm talking about cores, you don't know how many cores you have, how many processors you have. Go down and open up Task Manager, either search it or just right click on Windows and go to Performance. And now under your CPU, you're going to see cores and logical processors. If you have the same number of cores as processors, that means you don't have hyper threading. And if you do have hyper threading, it's going to add another level to the testing, but it'll be worth it. So when you download the information in the description, you're going to run this x64 as administrator. You're going to get errors that pop up. They don't matter as long as you run as administrator. So if you know the name of your GPU, you don't have to do this step. But if you don't know what PCI bridge you're running on, follow with me again. So we're going to go to device manager. U, devices by connection. Now this part's gonna depend if you have downloaded your chipsets or not. So for me, it's called the PCI controller times 16. And you can see my GPU is under that right here. It might be called just PCI to PCI bridge. It might be called something else, but most likely it's gonna be like PCI something. And you wanna find whatever you're under here. And then if it's not labeled specifically with like X16, you can right click on it, go to properties, and that's gonna show you the location here, 010. And I'll show you that here in a second as well. Quick way to navigate through is just type in the first letter of the GPU, so N, and now I'm here at my GPU. So we're gonna set this mask to our core, just one. Now this is the part where I'm saying it gets a little tricky if you have double the amount. If you only have one core per one processor, four cores, four processors, eight cores, eight processors like that, you don't have to worry about this part. If you have less than four cores, don't even try this because you already have so few of cores, you binding it to one or the other isn't gonna make a difference. But now for the sake of having four cores, eight processors, hyper threading, we're just gonna pretend that I have four cores and eight processors for this explanation. So first off with your testing, only bind to your cores. So that's gonna be zero, two, four, and six. Individually without the thread. Now after you find what core or maybe one or two cores that work the best, try it with the thread as well. You might see better results with it, but you also might not, but it's worth a try. So I'm just gonna bind it to CPU six. So now before I restart, I also need to bind that PCI bridge. Make sure you don't skip this step when you're testing. So I know it's time 16, so I'm right here. That mask, CPU six, okay. I don't use this to restart, I just manually restart my computer. So then you're gonna restart, run your test however many times, back out, repeat, until you have all of your data, and then you can go through and look at it and see which one's the best. I'm just gonna go over the information one more time really quick. We wanna run this as administrator. And now when we're setting the mask to a core, if you have the same number of cores as processors, you can try each one individually. If you have double the amount of processors as cores, you only choose one first. So that means it's gonna be zero, two, four, six, eight, all even numbers, those are gonna be your cores. After you test those cores, then you can test it with the thread. So that means zero and one, two and three. But that's only if you have hyper threading. Otherwise, just do one core. You may do this testing and you find out that having it completely off works better. If you do bind it to a certain core and you normally struggle for FPS, that means like if you're in creative and you're standing still, 
you're not getting above like 400. Make sure you also test FPS because you could see a slight drop and that might be a bigger difference than the latency issue. I know this stuff is kind of complex. Feel free to ask a question down in the comments. Try to make it as straightforward as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button down below if this video did help you out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.